Welcome to another episode of Ray or Roast My Rig, or in this case, your rig. If you'd like to submit your rig for me to rate or roast, uh, just send a photo, no information necessary, although you can include it if you'd like, to rate or roast at gmail.com. Let's get to roasting. Okay, wow. Um, for a home rig, this is pretty sick. Um, orange amps to the ceiling, awesome. Guitars, awesome. Pedals, uh, your pedal board is concise, it's clean, it's organized. I like that. You're kind of swinging in two different directions real hard. Your guitars say, I like intervals and Pliny and Periphery and Animals as Leaders. Your amps say, I like to listen to sleep records in the middle of the night while getting really high. I'm wondering if you're okay. You yourself, not the rig. Are you okay, man? Four to five beards. Okay, wait, hold up. None of you guys have ever submitted me a rig with you actually in it. So first of all, I'm gonna focus on the obvious. Those basketball shorts are awesome. Although it looks like you probably haven't been within 500 feet of a basketball in maybe a year or five. Uh, your guitar says, I hate the world, but your face says, I love mom and dad. As far as your rig goes, I love the PV Windsor, I love the OG 5150, and I even like your pedal board. So I'm gonna give your rig and your shorts four out of five beards. First of all, Switchmaster 150, Randall, that's very early Randall, it's very rare. I believe that's a PA head, but that's super cool. Your Randall 412 cab, also very rare um, and early Randall amps, super cool. Your Fender Jaguar-ish guitar, I'm into it. Um, your pedals, you kind of need a pedal board. What worries me is you're hiding the good things from me. Orange combo amp, I want to see that thing. There appears to be an Ibanez bass behind the Randall amp. And off to the far left, I see a Marshall amp. Are you on a storage locker? Did you clear out your storage locker just to take this picture for me? Because if you did, I appreciate it. Also, you might have a pantry in your storage locker. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but I'm gonna go with it and I appreciate it. And I appreciate your effort in taking a picture of your storage locker. Three out of five beards. Okay, right off the bat, I like the irony of the Hello Kitty guitar. We all appreciate the comedy that ensues when posting a picture of the Hello Kitty strap with an aftermarket neck, so it probably plays pretty good. What worries me is the framing of this kind of picture. You really just said, eh, good enough. And you're probably the kind of person who puts their underwear on without checking if it's on the right way. So I give this rig two out of five beards. I love the uh, Mesa Boogie Maverick, direct fire Maverick combo. I like the, the Crank Rev Junior. I, I love your pedal board. It's clean. I also wonder how many feet you have, but you know what? I don't want to talk about that in this uh, in this episode. Your guitar. What color is that guitar? The rest of your rig says, you know what? I like to experiment a little bit. Your guitar says, let's go to a Motley Crue show in 1987. I'm not really sure about that guitar at all. It's a Strandberg. I love Strandbergs, but the color, eh. Or maybe your Prince and you just really like headless guitars. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna give your rig three out of five beards. All right, another bass playing rig. And like I would expect out of a bass player, you can't really take that great of a picture, but your pedal board gives me anxiety, man. You took the effort to create and build a pedal board, but you know what? God forbid you put them on straight. Am I right? Also, you can't, uh, you can't take a couple of steps back to take a picture of your rig. You just kind of plopped your Fender Jazz bass, I'm gonna assume, uh, right on your volume pedal, scratching up your neck. You have okay carpet. Uh, I'm assuming you live with your grandmother. I'm gonna go ahead and give you two and a half beards out of five. Plus one for the awesome wallpaper. I back that. Um, I'm also wondering why you have three microphones on your rig. More microphones is not gonna make that Laney sound any better. I hate to admit it to you, but you know what? You can take what I said and you can go either lay down or sit up. 
on that futon right behind your amp. Um, I do also see an Ibanez Prestige, which is a pretty sick color of purple with the all maple fretboard. That's cool too, but I'm gonna go ahead and have to give this rig two out of five beards. This, this pedal board looks like it was Doc Brown's first attempt at building a time machine before he moved on to a DeLorean. It reminds me of all that stuff on the back of the Back to the Future car. It probably also needs 1.21 gigawatts to, to run sufficiently, and it's probably gonna become self-aware any day. I give this board three and a half out of five beards. This is a really cool room. I wish I had a room like this. I like the artwork that looks like it's from a tool record. Bonus points for the ghost poster. Your nieces and nephews are definitely not allowed in this room at all. And when they get anywhere near it, you have sensors and alarms that go off and give notifications to your phone that they're in pro there's other people in proximity to the room. They probably think you do drugs in this room when in fact you actually do drugs and then go into this room to trip out to your classical guitars and your Jackson V guitar and your Epiphone Les Paul. But I dig it and I like what you're doing. Four out of five beards. I look at this rig and I see a gigging veteran. Uh, these uh, two guitars, uh, Charvels, are from the 80s. They're awesome. Uh, I really back those guitars. Uh, the Gibson SG is awesome. Godzilla on top of a Mesa Stiletto half stack. No hate here, baby. Uh, I'm gonna give this four and a half out of five beards. Wow, we have a very cool Randall rig here. And we have whom I'm assuming is the one and only Steel Aggressor posing with his rig. I love the fact that he has his name right in the center of his his stack. And I bet his family calls him Steely for short. And he's kind of a prima donna word on the streets. And so it was very nice of him to pose on his rig for Raid or Roast My Rig. Thanks, Steely. Three out of five beards. That does it for this episode of Rate or Roast My Rig. If you would like me to rate and or roast your rig, Send a picture on over to rateorroast at gmail.com and maybe we'll get you on a future episode. Fluff out.